Marx's father in a film called Back to the Future, is now starring in a motion picture called River's Edge. Folks, please welcome Crispin Glover. <laughs> How are you doing? Good. I'm really good. Uh, are things going all right this summer? I'm having a very good good summer. Yeah. Where do you live now? You live in Los Angeles? Yes, that's right. I, in Los Angeles. Uh -huh. I just bought a nice condominium. Condominium? Where, where's it located? It's located just over the hill in the valley, and I'm really happy about it. Did you, uh, did you for a time you lived in Hollywood? You lived on Hollywood Boulevard? In Hollywood Boulevard. On Hollywood Boulevard? No. Had, a, had an apartment overlooking Hollywood Boulevard? A, a big high building you lived in? Big tower on Hollywood? No. No. <laughs> uh, all right. Then we'll just we'll just drop that and go on to something else, all right? Do you um do you do do you do a lot of the uh, television shows? Oh yes, now because I've been in movies that are big and uh, I'm I'm a movie star, so I've been on talk shows on the Johnny Carson show, yeah. and now I'm here, and I've been all across the United States, and I feel really good about it, so. <laughs> do, you, do you enjoy the experience? Yes, I feel very good about them. I notice you have something there in the case. I... I, I knew that this was going to happen, and I, uh, <laughs> I, can I tell you, because the, the press, they can do things, they can twist things around, and I, because, the, you're talking, I don't, look, I, the press says things about you in, in, in the, in the paper, this is a, a paper, the LA Weekly in, in Los Angeles, and they said, they said about me, a lot, a lot of Utah, it was at, a, I went to a club, and they said that, um, it was at a meeting, and it said Crispin Glover, who was in a frenzy, though his bark is actually worse than his dot, 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 you get the point, mm -hmm. and... Paul, and anything then, uh, you'd like to add here? And then uh, another one, they said, they said, they said, they said Crispin Glover Paul, was is this, pissed. is this the first time you've seen another guy drown? Is this, this the first time you've watched a guy die? Is that you talking about you or yeah? Him? No, me. This is this is the other it's thing they said. Crispin though. Glover was pinstriped and greased up for the occasion, impressing the girl things who are trying to get next to him. Guess some people are turned on by brill cream. Yeah, well, I don't know. And then they, you, I don't have these. You seem to be distraught. They don't. You seem to be distraught. People try to make me sound a lot weird, and yeah. I'm just, I'm strong, you know? I'm strong. I can arm wrestle. I, do you want to arm wrestle? No. I've been taking, no. you know, I've been taking part. These aren't mine. I can, I can, I can kill. Okay. Okay. Hey, I'm, I'm going to go check on the top ten. No, I'm sorry. I'll be back. Okay. Welcome back to the show. We're running a little uh, short of time tonight. I would have loved to have chatted more with Crispin Glover, but I understand he had a cab to catch, and well, traffic this time of night here in Midtown is pretty brutal, so we wanted to, wanted to ensure every possibility that he would get wherever he was going on time. Did you enjoy that, Paul? It was uh, an interesting segment. Yeah. Uh, I think that's the first time uh, we've been doing the show that a, a guest actually tried to kick me. Well, I think it was a conceptual piece. Uh, well, he came very close to denting my head with those, yes. giant, with those yeah. giant shoes, so I thought... I don't need that. I'm, I'm 40. I went to college. I've got a number of... I don't need... This, that is not how I want my life ended. Some goofball, some dork from uh, wherever. Oh, stop it. Stop it. Yeah. You want to have dinner with the guy? 